Hey there, Vinyl Community. Alex back again with another video. This time I'm doing a contest entry to Vinyl Talk with Tavis's contest. Um, he wants us to show at least five album covers that have animals on them. Pretty simple. I've been a big supporter of Tavis's channel for a while so I thought I'd give it a shot and enter show support for Tavis's channel um, I'll link the original video in the description below um, so just so we're clear haven't seen any other entries at this point so if I double up on any um, please please forgive me um, but obviously I've literally just picked out five um, two were off Actually, three of these were off the top of my head, and two were pulled out as I was going through my collection. Um, so let's get into this, because um, I want to try and do this as soon as I can. So the first one that I, I picked out, up, or well, the first one I guess I thought of, Animals by Pink Floyd. Pretty obvious choice, I know. Um, but there is the animal in question. It's a pig. I know it's a pretty standard album, everyone is probably going to show this one, but it's, it's, like I said, it's the first one that came into my head. Also came into my head was 50 Cent's Animal Ambition. Um, I would say it's his last good album. He had did have one out last year or the year before, but I did not like the album at all. As you can see, there is a lion on the front cover. One of my my favourite animal, probably. Um, and this is a really good album, like I said. Um, but yeah, 50 Cent, Animal Ambition, with the lion on the cover. Really, really good. And uh, going along the same vein as that, I guess, is LL Cool J, Walking with the Panther. Oops, or walking with a panther. As you can see, there is a panther on the album cover and in the main, but we're mainly going off. Actually, it's on the back cover as well as it goes. The same panther. Um, very, very underrated album from LL. And uh, I actually really like that album cover, I must admit. I think that's pretty cool. Just chilling with his, his, his panther. There. So they're the first three that popped into my mind. Then the next two I'm going to show were just as I was going through the collection. Um, I was pulling stuff out, and these are the two I went with: Christopher Cross, his uh, self-titled debut with the uh, flamingo on the front cover. Actually, Christopher Cross's first two albums both have a flamingo on them, but this is the one I pulled out because. I really love this album. I mean, I like his other albums. Don't get me wrong, but when it comes to Christopher Cross, this is the one everybody knows. Uh, obviously, with the song like that, The Wind on it, and Sailings on this as well. So just a brilliant album from uh, Christopher Cross there. And finally, the final one I'm going to show for this video, at least, um, is the Doobie Brothers, The Captain and Me. There are horses on the cover. There. Um, actually, the Doobie Brothers had a couple of albums that had horses on, which I didn't realise. A couple of their early albums do have horses on the front cover. I mean, like I said, I pulled this one because it well, was the first one I found. And out of the two, I probably did prefer this album, but um, as a whole, yeah, I decided to go with it. And I'd prefer that album cover anyway, just the horses and the highway there, the... the, the Unfinished like bridge and stuff. Just a really, really cool cover in my opinion. Yeah. So they are my five albums with animals on them. I could have done gone done it quite a few more because as I was going through looking at stuff, I found a lot of stuff I could have shown, but I, I stuck to five because I didn't want this video to be like really, really long. So guys, that's it. Thanks for tuning into the channel. 
please please subscribe to Tavis if you're not already um, please subscribe to me if you're not already give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all again very soon bye